So I wanted to give you a little information about the final and what we're going to be doing to review for the final. So we're starting the final review today, and our final is not scheduled to be until Wednesday, May 29th. So we are the second to last final. We will be at 10 a.m. for standard time in the dining hall and uh, extended time will start at 8 a.m. and end at 11 a.m. Uh, most likely, I believe it's in the learning commons, but you want to check with Mr. Samad uh, to double check that. And if you are a double science student who is, and we're not talking AP here, um, you're going to be taking your physics exam, your physics honors exam in the afternoon. Uh, physics honors is going to be last for everybody. Now, the other thing I wanted to remind you is that you will be using your regular equation sheet that you always have for every test. So it's that neon green laminated sheet. If you're not at that, you have the wrong test. As always, there are no cell phones, no smartwatches, no electronic devices other than your calculator allowed in the room. If you want to bring a multitude of pens because you're worried that your pens are going to want her out or something like that, or you want to use colors, cool. However, you think just carry them in. You can't bring in an opaque pencil pouch. You can't like, we've got to be able to see into everything or whatever. So if you want to bring in a little baggie, that's fine. But I would say a couple of pencils and eraser, you're fine. Um, as always, we don't allow people to ask questions during the test simply because um, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Not every teacher is in every room, so there aren't any questions. If you have a question, you can write it down. I'll read that, um, but answer to the best of your ability. If it's one of the, uh, you are going to get a choice on these. So if it's a choice question, pick a different question. You will have to turn in your test folder before you can have take your exam or really before the exam will be graded. So make sure that that comes in with you. If you prefer to just leave your test exam here so you don't lose it, 100% okay, no problem. Um, and you are required as for every exam to stay for a minimum of 75 minutes, which means you cannot leave before 9.15 or 1.30 p.m., depending on morning or afternoon. Now, you are absolutely welcome to use your calculator, so make sure you have it charged or bring a second set of batteries or something like that. Um, however, if your calculator dies, because they do, um, you may not borrow someone else's. You will have to either do it longhand or better yet, skip the calculations, just plug in all the numbers. You can still get the vast majority of credit by doing that. The format. Pretty straightforward. 27% uh, of the test is going to be the multiple choice section. There's going to be 40 questions. I'd recommend about 45 minutes on that. I probably would break it up um, and do like 12 to 15 questions, maybe work on a problem, then another 12 to 15 multiple choice questions um, if that suits you, or you can just plow through them. Um, but again, 45 ish minutes. And then there are going to be four problems that you have to do, one of which is required. It's a little bit longer and worth more points. Um, and then the choice questions, there are three that you need to do, and those are all worth 20 points. They're exactly the same uh, value, even if they aren't necessarily perfectly matched uh, in terms of their difficulty from your point of view. So my suggestion is, Pick the easy ones. Now, one thing you will notice is that all of these concepts, all of these ideas come from the second semester. However, first semester, still a thing. Like, for work, you 100,000 friggin' percent need to know how to do forces. So you would be crazy not to go and review forces. Um, energy, momentum, impulse, Forces, waves, all of those things have ideas we talked about in first semester implicitly inside them. What is velocity? Being able to define it. What is acceleration? What is a force? What's a vector? How do you add vectors? How do you subtract vectors? How do you multiply vectors? Those are things, many of which we talked about in first semester in our introduction to them, but we use them throughout the entire year. 
this is something where you absolutely have full reign of your choices. So my suggestion, pick easy ones. And just a reminder, because I don't have it written down anywhere, but the circuits questions will not include Kirchhoff's rules. Um, I Theoretically, you could use them to answer the questions, but they are far from required. None of that will be part of this. Uh, so my suggestion, make sure you are very well versed on a minimum of four, preferably five of these questions. Uh, you're, all of these are going to show up in the multiple choice, so you need to review it, all of them anyway. I'd only put one question in the oh heck no category of I'm not going to pick that one, just in case some of the questions you're like, ooh, I don't like the way that one's worded. Just a suggestion. Now, the real thing is the studying, which is what we're going to be doing now. Study early. We're going to make up, you're going to plan the work, plan out what you need to do, and then you're going to work the plan. That is the best way to approach everything in life, and studying is one of them. I'm going to tell you something that students don't want to hear. Studying should be hard. You should be focusing on the things you don't know and you don't understand. If you know it and understand it and can explain it perfectly right now, a light review oh yeah, I remember that still exists, is plenty. You know it. Spending a lot of time going over it isn't going to improve your understanding of it. And if it's not going to improve your understanding of it, it's wasting your time. You were probably would have been better off overall taking a nap, doing your nails, something like that. Honestly, because you need to also stay calm and have a life and get exercise and all of those things. That's incredibly important. So my suggestion, condense your notes. Take your notes from the unit, get the unit notes down to a page of things, like one side of a page that you need to review that you don't know off the top of your head. Then you start reviewing those notes and get everything down to one page front to back. So that means you're going over it, going over it, going over it until you know it cold. And then by the day of the test, you should have the entire second semester down to no more than one side, preferably half of one side of a piece of paper of things that you want to go over or review that morning. Panic studying doesn't help. It's very dramatic. It's very fancy, but it's not actually useful. It doesn't help your grade. So this is where you want to spend time recalling, pulling it out of your memory, the information that you don't know. Not just looking it up. Oh, yeah, I know that. Um, you want to really be able to pull it out of your brain without looking at your notes and say, oh, I recognize it. Um, recall and recognition, two different things. Recall, pulling it out of your brain, definitely the harder and the, if you can do that, you understand it better. Writing it down by pen to paper uh, rather than typing it helps you to commit it to your brain. There's a physicality to it and it actually builds different neural signals. So that's an important thing. And the first day of review that I will be here is May 20th. Be ready to start asking questions by day one. Best thing you can do. Um, my, I will be holding office hours uh, from 10.15 to 12.15 p.m. on Tuesday, May 20th, 28th, sorry. It's the day before the exam. And this is the absolute last moment to ask your questions. I know I'm like, I'm happy to answer email questions. However, I will not answer any email questions that come in after 8 p.m. on Monday the 27th. If you have questions after that, you need to come to the office hours. If you can't make the office hours, you need to study early enough that you can email the questions before Monday, September 27th. I can tell you for certain you can do this. I know all of you, you've got this. Good luck. Study hard, plan the work, and work your plan. Thanks.